In this video, I'll be talking about circular permutation. In my last video, we talked about permutation and that permutation is generally we talked about as a row permutation. Link added in description so that before moving to circular permutation, one can see what is the definition of a permutation of n object. And there we use this formula n p r that is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial. I have derived this formula also in my last video using the multiplicative principle and here we must note that this is generally when we talk about row permutation and in this row permutation order of the object does matter so for example out of n object we want to consider what is r permutation so this is the first position and this is the rth position for the first object we have n choices for the second object we have n minus 1 choices and for the rth object we can have n minus r plus 1th choices and from here we can get directly into this formula so this is about row permutation and here order does matter to explain the order let me to uh, take very simple example say you have two element a and b so it is possible that i place a at the first position and i place b at the first position or i may keep b at the first position and a at the second position so for two element there are possible two factorial so if you consider a set a which consists of two element and in that if we consider two elements all together this means in general if n p n we use this formula as n p n this is n factorial so because there are two element i have considered two permutations so this is two factorial which means it is two and these are the possible two permutations but this is not the case for the circular permutation for the circular permutation it is important what comes in the adjacent position or we may simply say in the rough language who sits in the neighborhood of an object and to explain this let's consider a problem so we consider three distinct object a b c and we are considering three position around a circle we may also call this as a round table problem so when i consider this as a round table problem let's say we have considered this as a round table and to show the position these are the position or these are the chair location where we need to arrange these three objects or you may assume that there are three person who have to sit onto this position now notice that if you have these three object a b c it is possible that the first position is occupied by a second position is occupied by b and the third position is occupied by c now what i do is i place a here b here and c here and in the third table i place c here a here and b here this one i use as a b c this permutation this permutation i use at c a b and here i use b c a as a permutation they look different because if you look them as a row wise they are different since the first position last and the middle positions are different in all together but while looking this problem from the circular table a is always adjacent to b and c is adjacent to c so here the neighbor of a b comes always on the right and a comes always on the left now a again a is again on the left side and b is again on this side so that means we are simply rotating we are simply rotating so now a comes onto this side and b is again coming onto this side so here they are merely a rotation so they are merely rotation and so there is nothing much to discuss because in that sense we'll say if you consider more number of object say for example we have a b c d always a is sitting with next to b and a is sitting next to a and so we are not interested in the rotation so rotation is not not very interesting to study here very interesting to study rather what we do in the circular permutation what makes it more interesting is to study the relative position so here it's important who comes on the adjacent side and what is the relative position so to study the relative position is what we call uh, what we understand as the uh, circular permutation and the objects that are invariant under the rotation so if we try to rotate and still they give us a different permutation then we are interested in studying this circular permutation to explain this further let me to take this example and before that i am using this notation let nqr this denote the number of 
आर सर्कुलर परमोटेशन नंबर ऑफ आर सर्कुलर परमोटेशन इन माई लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट आर परमोटेशन ऑफ अ सेट ए बट हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सर्कुलर परमोटेशन एंड देन वी विल डिराइव द फॉर्मूला फॉर एन क्यू आर एज वेल टू एक्सप्लेन एंड टू डिराइव द फॉर्मूला नाउ लेट मी टू टेक दैट एग्जाम्पल एंड इन दिस एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर द सेट ए विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर ऑब्जेक्ट्स ए बी सी डी और यू कैन सिंपली से फोर लेटर्स हाउ मेनी थ्री परमोटेशन ऑफ ए आर पॉसिबल एंड इन दिस केस वी हैव डन दिस एग्जाम्पल इन माई लास्ट वीडियो ऑल्सो सो देर आर ट्वेंटी फोर three permutations are possible and what are these permutations are possible let me to first make 24 possible cases these are given as these and if i just simply put them into some group so if these are 24 permutation that is possible now let me to regroup and we notice carefully each group is merely a rotation of each other because c comes after b and b comes after a similarly b c and then we have a similarly b c and then we have a so each group while studying in the circular permutation will give rise to the same rotation as i have explained you say for example we consider this as three position and here we have a b c now we rotate this and at this place if i keep a at this place it becomes v and here it becomes c so this is cab and then again i rotate this and suppose now i place a here and then b goes here and then automatically c comes here so these are the same rotation so if we look at rotation wise there are 24 by 3 so there are eight circular permutation and why i have divided this by 3 because there are three element we have used in each case so if you have used three elements that means it is possible that among within those within those three element we can change the order considering them in a row so if we divide it by 3 if you get eight circular permutation or if you want to reach to the row permutation from the circular permutation say you know that in one of the question we have eight circular permutation and each circular per permutation consist of three element so you multiply 3 by 8 you get 24 normal row permutation so that is how you get the formula corresponding to the circular permutation and the normal permutation in general we can say a circular permutation of r distinct objects of r distinct objects let's consider x1 x2 up till xr and if we just show them in a round table so this is x1 let's say here we place x2 and here we place some xi and here it is xr now this give rise to a unique subset of r r permutation x1 x2 up till so on xr or we may place xr at the first position then follow x1 x2 up till xr minus 1 and we continue doing like this one so we can simply see that whenever we are talking about circular permutation this is npr divided by r now these this r comes because there are within within these r element it is possible that we can change their position so in general if you choose n out of n so this will become npr divided by npn divided by n and we know npn is n factorial and then we are dividing it by n so this means it is n minus 1 factorial that is why whenever we use the circular permutation we use this formula that for n object if you want to place in a round table or say for example we have 5% and we want to make them to sit on a round table so there are 5 minus 1 possibility that is four factorial ways in which these person can sit on a round table now let me to consider some problem based on the circular permutation in how many ways can five boys and three girls be seated around a table if there is no restriction so in the first case we are considering that there is no restriction and we want to make five boys and three girls to be sit around a table so for the first case we just simply consider that there are five boys and there are three girls so in total there are eight people so we consider there are eight persons that i want to arrange on a round table and we have seen just by the formula that if we consider eight people that can be arranged 8 minus 1 factorial ways that is 7 factorial ways now in the second problem we are saying boy b1 and girl g1 are not adjacent so these b1 and g1 should not be adjacent together 
so for this case we will consider that there are five boys and g1 girl suppose that we do not include this girl g1 and here i'm just simply considering two girls not including g1 can be seated in the six factorial ways there are five boys and two girls so here i'm considering in total seven person and i'm not including girl g1 we will see what could be the placement for g1 because boy b1 should not come with the g1 these are they are not adjacent so for these seven person i am arranging them in sitting in six factorial ways so let's say one of the instance we have b1 then we got b2 we have b3 we got b4 they may be in any order not necessarily in the order that i am placing b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 and let's say the two girls they are sitting here g2 and g3 and now we are saying that g1 is not adjacent with b1 that means g1 cannot come at this position and g1 cannot come at this position in in total there were seven persons so there are seven spaces that we have created so these spaces you can see that i'm highlighting with the green color one two three four five six seven because there are seven people so in between them there are seven spaces in the round table and we are this we are we are do, we don't want to allow these two spaces so that these two spaces will be avoided where g1 can sit so g1 cannot come between b1 and g2 in this case and g1 cannot come between b1 and b5 so that it is not adjacent to b1 so for g1 we have five places are available for g1 and earlier we were we have seen that uh, these five boys and two girls can sit in six factorial ways so in total we will say that six factorial into five choices are there for this particular case which is given in the question number two so we can solve this problem in another alternate way we consider the number of ways of arranging five boys and three girls around the table so that b1 and g1 are adjacent now here b1 and g1 is considered as single entity so when i consider this as single entity out of total five plus three so eight persons so out of those eight person we have already extracted one b1 and g1 that means there are six person and one entity this one plus one more entity this one so there are seven persons or we may consider that there are seven objects so those seven object can be arranged in seven minus one factorial ways into two because b1 and g1 can further commute uh, permute among each other so seven minus one factorial into two is giving me 14 40 now what we desire in the problem we desire that b1 and g1 should never be adjacent so total possibilities of the eight people were eight minus one that is seven factorial minus whenever they are adjacent so we get 3600 and that is the same answer that we got it from the previous case in this next question we want to find the number of ways to sit n married couples around the table in each of the following cases so the first case has men and women alternate and so here in the first case we can see there are n men's which can be seated in the n minus 1 factorial ways because we are in a round table and then for n women for n play n persons whenever we arrange the n persons say 1 2 up till r and then we have n person there are n places in between them so n women can be seated in n factorial ways so in total we can consider this as n minus 1 factorial into n factorial ways second question asks each every woman is next to her husband so in this case we can consider each couple as single entity let's consider each couple together as single entity or you may consider this as a single object not in terms of that couples are not livable of course we just consider them whenever a couple comes they come together so this is the men first and women first or they can commute among each they can permute among each other so you can consider women here and men here so this is each pair have two possibility and we have total n couples so in total we have n couples n couples can be seated in round table in n minus 1 factorial ways and each pair can be 
ईच कपल कैन हैव टू पॉसिबिलिटीज सो इट कैन डू इट इन टू वेज एंड देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ कपल सो ऑब्वियसली इन टोटल वी विल कंसिडर टू टू दी पावर एन इन टू एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल सो दिस इज द पॉसिबिलिटी फॉर द सेकेंड केस